Sestina by Elizabeth Bishop. September rain falls on the house. In the falling light, the old grandmother sits in the kitchen with the child, beside the little marble stone, reading the jokes, jokes from the almanac, laughing and talking to hide her tears. She thinks that her equinic tears and the ra rain that beats on the roof of the house were both foretold by the almanac, but only known by the grandmother. The iron kettle sits on the stove. She cuts some bread and says to the child, It's time for tea now, but the child is watching the tea kettle. Small hard te tears dance like mad on the hot black stove. The way the rain must dance on the house, tidying up the old grandmother, hang hangs up the clever almanac. On its string, bird-like, the almanac hovers half open above the child, hovers above the old grandmother, and her teacup full of dark brown tears. She shivers and says she thinks the house feels chilly and puts more wood in the stove. It was to be, says the marble stone. I know what I know, says the almanac. With crowns, the child draws a rigged house and a wind winding winding pathway. Then the child puts in a man with button like tears and shows it proudly to her grandmother. But secretly, while the grandmother busies herself about the stove, the little moon falls down like tears. From between the pages of the almanac into the flower bed the child has carefully placed in the front of the house. Time to plant tears, says the almanac. The grandmother sings to the marble stone, and the child draws another indestructible house.